why water data is not popular or we should be more active on social media and there are so many things uh, that are happening and we are not heard or visible. Uh, so my own response is that uh, we have also been working with water data, hydroinformatics, trying to address problem. So um, if we, that's why I put that point there saying problem comes first and then the solution. Many times we have approached, I don't know if others are also approaching like this, saying that technology is the answer, data is the answer, digitalization is the answer. So we have a solution and then we are looking for a problem. Okay, so rather than that, what we have tried to do and uh, we, are, we are halfway through is taking a problem, which means a lot to the people, the society, and trying to solve it through data and technology and proving a use case that, hey, here is a case where a, a complex problem has been solved because of data. And it was in the absence of data, in the absence of digitalization, this problem could not have been solved. So that is the you know missing link that we are trying to establish because we found in India, it may be true in other countries, that the policy is often conflict at the ground when we try to implement. And that is probably the reason why government is also not sharing data which could benefit one section of society or one set of stakeholders but it can be explosive for others. And if you share data and you create some kind of an expectation and it, uh, it creates a groundswell and which you're not able to handle, that could be a problem. So what we are trying to do is address a problem and bring evidence uh, on the problem, create a consensus first on the problem itself. Because most of the time people see problems from different angles and they don't, do not even agree on what the problem is. For example, if it's rainwater harvesting, Okay, now if it's such a great solution, it is still not getting adopted because there are concerns about what one person is saving, he's not able to utilize, somebody else gets utilized, there is no track of what is the amount of water that is harvested. And I was actually looking for something like this, uh, what Kevin has shared, saying, is there a way by which we can capture the benefits of rainwater harvesting? So I, I would see the answer to what Bobby asked and what Kevin is uh, presenting that if we have a solution where data makes a difference, where AI, ML makes a difference, and we're saying that uh, you know we are able to manage better and we can demonstrate that, then obviously we will get more and more followers. Uh, like any other new idea, any other new product that we are trying to promote in the you know in the market, we find. There are mostly people who have interest in status quo and very few early adopters are actually there. If we can find those early adopters, people who have a serious problem, we, we, we just generally seem to think that you know, a, pro, a solution can be universally adopted uh, on day one by everybody. It doesn't happen that way. There are always people who are fence sitters, who are the skeptics or people who are waiting for something to happen. And if there are early adopters, I think a small case study would help. And uh, if, if there are, I think that is, yeah. that is what I was trying to share, that yeah. if we could collectively look at one area where we could apply this, yeah. uh, there are, for example, cases where uh, health of people are affected or there are uh, you know, economic uh, indicators which show that uh, poor water availability or water quality is giving uh, concern to the people, where data can make a difference. Um, and if that data is, uh, you know, um, through uh, AI, ML, uh, models can be built, which can be validated, then we find that uh, we could, you know, influence the powers that be and even uh, policies can be influenced through this.